Yeah, right reverse. We are back on. We got them rocked. Got them unrocked. A little more right reverse. There you go. He's scoping up. I see him. Color. Um, it's a red. Another red? Napa. Oh, good one. Nice one. That's the limit. Oh, on another one on the... Uh, on the uh, flat line. Flat line. <laughs> flat line. That is the limit. So, two per person, 18 inch minnow. No max on them, huh? Just 18 inches, no slot, no nothing. 18 inches, two per person. Yep. He bottom fish will wear you out, guys. But it's been it's been a lot of fun. Mono. Look at that fish. God. <laughs> Just what a day, Martin. What a day. Amazing. Oh, look, he has a crab hey. in him. Look, look, put the Inverted. crab in his mouth. Got? Oh, wow, he got a little crab in there. A little pass crab. <laughs> Baby pass crab looks like. Sam? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That is so cool. Look, guys, you'll see it again and again from us. We'll talk about it more, but inverted charters, man. He's on the fish. He's on the red snapper. He's got a great little crew down here and uh, great location. And I mean, this is about as good as I've ever seen fishing wise. So if you want a bottom fish, West Coast of Florida is the place to come, Gulf of Mexico. And Martin's your guide, inverted charters for sure. The links and everything will be all in the description below. And there'll also be links to the webpage. We're going to have him all set up on our website. <laughs> On the hook. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Well, first drop, we're hooked up. And uh, Brittany's got one on, and we are out here in the Gulf of Mexico, out of St. Pete, and it is June. In June, get some really good bottom fishing. American Red Snapper's open, and uh, we can see what the first drop is. We're marking a lot of fish. Okay. It didn't take long. Don't quit on them though, because they're his sharks. You want to use Rodney? <laughs> She's not using Rodney on the first one. Can't do it on the first one. Hey, give him, give him, up, 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 go, go, go. go. Yeah, that water is clean, boy. He's still like 40 feet down, and I can see every, every scale on him. Moose. There you go. Good job, Brittany. Thank you. Going there. Yay! Nice, nice. <laughs> Don't let him go. We're going to put him back in the box. <laughs> We're not letting him go. Don't worry about that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> let him go again. Man, I don't that one. I'm not losing another one. No. She said, I'm done. That, after all that, she goes, I'm putting it after him. He said, put it after him. I'm going to put it after him. Oh, look at him. He's on it. What's on it? <laughs> he did. Look. Look at the air coming up. <laughs> yeah, it's no yellowtail fish. <laughs> It's not that they catch you over there like tiny. Well, you know, you're, you know. Come to mama. <laughs> Make sure you spread that line. You good, huh? Yeah. Baby. Beginner guy. Baby. First red snapper. Yeah. But then when, when he starts when he starts spitting on you, yeah, I mean look at the line. Yeah. Off me. When he starts spitting on you, go ahead reel. When he starts like spitting it out, then you just sit back and hold on, okay? Yep. But right now he's gonna drive to him. Because it you know. So we just got bit and uh Brittany had a line out and it almost took the rod completely out of hand. We thought we lost him. And 
Next thing you know, half the spool's gone. So we're just gonna go chase him down and, and see what this is. We got our theories on it. I'm gonna go with uh, shark, but you never know. We've been fooled before. There you go. <laughs> Reel him, just keep reeling on right now. He's giving you a line, give it to him. So he bends you over hard, keep reeling on. He's driving towards him for you. You're only two minutes in. You're only two minutes. So if I want to take over on five o'clock. Oh, oh, come on. No, don't give up. You wanted that rod, you got, you got it. This. You see why I gave it up so easily? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Maybe put your left hand higher up on the rod to give him more leverage. I don't know, it ain't a shark pole right now. Yeah. I don't know. That wasn't a shark pole just now. Well, these aren't shark poles. Keep that rod bent. Take, take your time going back down. Yeah, when you go down, you'll take your time going back. Oh, for the butt? The more tension you keep, the easier he's going to give up. Oh, they always allow him to bend. Tug of war. Because I would always put them right in here and they always... You might have a really good fish. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is a shark now. I think he might be right. It might be a black group. Big one, yeah, I mean this. Stay after this, Brittany. This is not no, this is no junk fish. Is the way it's pulling. Keep going. You're good. Just keep going. Keep going. Huh? There's a glass of wine waiting for you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's no shark pulls. That ain't no shark pulls. You know what it was? That fish hawk probably was getting chased by a shark. Could have been. Could have been. Either that or he rocked us. Yeah. You know, he rocked yep. us, and then that, and when then, I, started, I let yep. him loose, yeah. he unrocked, and then yep. I started tightening up, and he was there. We see that a lot on the side. Yep. You know, when you let him loose, they unrock. Come on, you're getting them. You got this. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish, Brittany. Holy shit. Come on. It's like I'm sweating that wine now. Up. <laughs> As Brittany's fighting this fish and rethinking this whole trip today, we don't think it's a shark anymore. It's it's fighting more like a grouper or something like that, or maybe a huge red snapper. You're almost there. Holy moly. Whew, that's a real one. Ooh, that's a 20 pounder. Ooh, ooh. Real. There Holy you go, Brittany. Hi. Back up, back up, real, back up. Yeah. Just back up more, there you go. Heck yeah, dude. I think you can grab him. He's pretty worn out. We, we gave him a run for his money. Oh, I think we did there. That's 11 feet right yeah. there. It's, it's pretty good. Size gross. 11. Yeah. That's a monster. That's a monster. Awesome fish. Running. Is it closed? Are you closed? It's it's closed. Wow. Oh yeah, you are. You got a big one. He's on strike. Yeah, you got a big one. You got a big one. Yeah, no, he's vertical. He's vertical too. No, he's moving. I mean, he's not in rocks. No, he's pulling. Yeah, he's pulling. Now you get him. That slow pressure up is how you weigh yourself out. Is going too fast up and down. You want to see if you free spool it? I might. Let's get him out that way. Taking the reverse. Yep. There you go, neutral. Big fish. That's, I didn't know if you were going wrong. <laughs> I just thought it was a grouper thing. <laughs> Great structure. They're going to try and get in the same thing on the rigs. They do the same thing oh. on the rigs. They're trying to get in those rig legs. Here I am. I'm like, okay, don't get in the 
actually pulled off. I got all the weight and everything. I thought you said this one was little. He feels smaller than the other one, for sure. <laughs> yeah, probably. There's color. Oh, yeah. Oh! Little baby. Little baby. I'm not a good video. I'm not a good picture taker, <laughs> as I learned today. <laughs> you gonna release them? Yes. All right. You gotta invent them though this time. I'm sure how to do it. Yeah, sure yeah. how to do it. Oh, should I grab that one? Yeah. Give it to her. Come get this one. Get it. Hang on. Let me tighten the drag. Get two of them going. <laughs> So we just double hooked up. I got a big one on the bottom, and that's, that's the flat line? That's flat line. Flat line just went off on top. Oh. That's why I have to go to the gym on these days. <laughs> Remora. No, you're not. You tangle it pretty good. Yeah. Sharp. Remora. Remora? Yeah. We got a remora on the flat line. Now we got a little mess over here. Stick it to your butt. Just flipped over. <laughs> here, I'll take this. Are you done? Can I grab this anywhere? Yes. Yeah, they don't hurt you. Okay, ready? I'm gonna grab him. One more. One more. One more. Yeah, one more. Turn around. Are you right there? Come over top. Come over top. Ready? Good. You good? Yeah. Oh, look at dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. Mahi, oh. mahi, mahi, mahi. Oh my mahi. god! Mahi. Get that out, uh, get some bait out. Mahi. The whole school get mahi, get a flat line. line. Get a flat line. That one, put a bait get on line. that Bring hook. that rod up to the front, bring that rod up to the front. Damn, right now. Right straight to him. Yep. Watch stop, watch stop. Oh, Here, go around, yeah. Throw right yeah. Front. And get a live bait. We got mahi on. <laughs> we got mahi swimming by the boat. Catch right. him on the bottom. They were out front to the left, like nine o'clock out there. Oh, yeah. There's about seven of them. Yeah, going for it. You going for it? Fuck yeah. yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Woo! This is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I want these mahi now. Heck yeah, Shaw. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I got him! <laughs> I tried to buy this. Bird's sitting over there. I was like, I think that's why. So we just had like six Mahi come by while we were catching this big red. <laughs> red came off the radar for a minute, but. If that, uh, they swam right by. Yeah, you know, if that memorial didn't hit the bait, you probably wouldn't have been. Yeah, no, they came right by the boat. They weren't They weren't very active though. They were pretty, pretty docile. Like they were just kind of cruising slow. Yeah. Pass it right back. Yeah, we'll work that one. That one? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Googan. Googed it. We're good. <laughs> Googed it and fixed it. <laughs> like another good one. Yeah, that seems really good for <laughs> You like this fighting technique? <laughs> this is what I call the struggle. Gotta 
just sit and crank on them. <laughs> I see color. Come to mama. What's that down there? That's hers. No, uh, uh is it? Yeah. It's really a mahi over there, doesn't it? No, there's something else over there. Where? Oh, never mind. Another view. There's you coming up. I'm like, what? The swan sauce, too, where you bake. Oh, it was? Yeah. It was some yellow. I was like, what's that yellow? Good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's barely hooked. Once you get around to him, he's barely in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! Nice fish. Yeah, you hold it just like that on the side, just like you have them. Yeah. <laughs> <Stolid>. <laughs> I promise you won't fall. Okay. <laughs> I saw you kind of look like. <laughs> I don't want to go too far forward from him. No, you're good right now. Yeah, that hooks in number two. What do you think you got, Saul? I don't know. This one's a little odd. I can't yeah, hide it. Yeah, I just don't want to jinx it. <laughs> yeah. That's how my Wahoo ran, though. <laughs> Bite. Probably doesn't even think he's hooked yet. That's not a shark. It's not a shakes. shark. It ain't got the shakes to a shark. Hey, big tuna. Black That's what I'm kind of. I don't want to lean I'm going to go, go black too, Yeah, go a little lower. Yeah, like right there. Yeah. Just because that's 20 pound. That's crazy. See, you can kill two not here. That's sick. I didn't know there was two and a half here. Hi. This is like a whole different fishery to me. <laughs> Shallow water. I'm loving it. He's good right there. I mean, he's just okay. Sick. He's probably doing this, dude. Kinda. That's what I feel like he's doing. That's why I was thinking maybe a black fan. Little pinwheels. Mm-hmm. That color. Mahi. Nah, I think the mahi sitting down that deep. I don't know. It, don't look what, like an AR? No, yeah, it might like be. Oh, yeah, it's an AR. <laughs> On the surface, huh? It, it is. It kind of looks it is, like huh? it. It is. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm on a surface bait. Okay. Good one. Yeah, good one, too. There's my limit. That's pretty wild. Yeah, that's, that's sick. I mean, <laughs> on a flat line up on the surface to catch a red snapper, he's definitely pushing up. Okay. That's pretty cool. I can't say I've done that. He's got one more. Just one more. The red snapper. All right. On a flat line. It's different. I'll take that. That's when you know they're pretty thick, though. Yeah, obviously pretty thick to fish. Martin, you got the spot for the red snapper. I'll give you that. Sweet. Yeah, if y'all want to catch these nice red snapper, give him a call. His description is below. It's inverted charters. And we're going to show you a bunch of stuff with him. He's got a great place he fishes out of and uh, great food, which we're going to go eat in a little bit. And he's on the big red snapper. That's for sure. I mean, everything we've caught has been quality, quality fish. I didn't even know Florida had them like this, to be honest with you. Didn't even know we had these kind of quality fish. Thought you had to go a lot further than this. Ooh. You in? Cool. There you go. Yeah, it'll go. Just slowly keep tension on it. It'll go. There you go. There you go. Race to the finish line. Huh? Race to the finish line. Oh, yeah, I got two on. So we get three on. It's all on you, Brittany. 
Put it down there and get three on four. No pressure. No pressure at all. No pressure. Just get it down there quick. There you go, tighten that up. Doubled up. Oh, we got somebody's line. No, Brittany ain't getting the triple. But Brittany's up in the snapper. Oh, you're on, you're on. You're on, you're on, you're on real. Oh, I thought I was oh. on board. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I put my thing. I thought my line was going to do it. Did it I did, but it did. But then it jerked my finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was confused. I was like, wait, I'm on that. Babe. Babies. Babies. No, no, you're on it. Yeah, it was tangled my one. There you go. Oh, he's fighting like hell. He got that thing in full too. She's getting it. Oh. oh. Really? Did you get that on camera? <laughs> it happens to the best of us, Brittany. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. It's just part of the game. No. I was so ready for him too. It's yep. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna send him back. Okay. And then we'll just get thrown back. <laughs> Be you. Oh! <laughs> he shot down. He survived. No great. <laughs> Check your bait, you might get. Hey, I might have got you. You getting hits? Yeah. Bro, there you go. There he is. Double up. There he is. We just had to get him back going. We just had to get him back going. You got him? Okay. Oh, they're big too. Yeah. Oh. Don't stop. Don't stop. Just a reel. Can I put it in the thing? Yeah. A little yeah. Bit. Oh, she's rod holding? Mm hmm. What do we call him, Martin? Rodney. Rodney's working. I'm doing it though. I don't give a fuck. Just keep your hand in there. So Ronnie's in. Tag team. Ronnie's in. Tag team. So you know you warm out, Martin. Yep. It's a long ways down there, Martin. Yeah. It feels like. I just don't think it's a burner. Rodney looks like a lot easier than this. Yeah. There's your it grouper. Is. It's a grouper! There's your grouper looking. Red. Hey, red. Oh, oh, flat line. No one. Can I get this yep. here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do I do here? Swing him in. Grouper. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to need to taste this fish. Mine's right. a keeper. Hey, uh. Your turn, your turn. <laughs> no, you're just too small. Yours is too small, it'll be 20. It's nice and easy on this one. Look at these grouper. He's hooked oh. on, he's hooked. Oh, no. hooked Can we get him out? Yeah. Hold on. Tighten that drag a little. A little more? Yeah, a little more. I had it a little tight already. Okay, all right. No, that's good. Now you can let him go. If I have bladder? Front, no, he's good, he's good. Bladder's up. Grouper. Just grab them up. Yeah, just like that. Down on top of the fins, in front of the fins. Yep, and just toss them. Okay, Remember come on, buddy. Just drop them. Oh, good. So one thing you'll find about Brittany, we've learned, is Brittany's a very high conservationist. The fish are not allowed to water more than 15 <laughs> seconds. Um, we got rules we're following today. Big rules. Which is always good. You know, it's always good for the fishery and, you know, everything else. So, back to fishing. <laughs> All right, more up. That's a heavy fish, whatever it is. 
Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Now we on the groupers. Then she lit that sucker up. I'm a groupie. I'm a groupie. <laughs> Let's go. That's some good eating right there. Some red. Mm. We, we on the red so today. Exciting. We definitely on the red. Red yeah, grouper, red snapper. Mm -hmm. Red wine. Red wine. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't lying. Mostly just a leader. Yeah, it is. It's all leader. There's nothing I haven't seen. I'm like you, bud. I've seen it all. Guy, you see it all. There's every knot you've seen. Everything. Heck yeah, three lines go off. Good spot. I said that. Yeah, right reverse. We are back on. We got them rocked. Got them unrocked. A little more right reverse. There you go, he's scoping out. I see him. Color, um, it's a red. Another red? Snapper. Oh, good one. Nice one. That's the limit. On, on another one on the uh, on the uh, flat line. Flat line. <laughs> flat line. <Woo! laughs> flat line. That is the limit. So, two per person, 18 inch minnow. No max on them, huh? Just 18 inches, no slot, no nothing. 18 inches, two per person. He bottom fish will wear you out, guys. But it's been it's been a lot of fun. We're gonna make one more drop. We just got a red grouper. Uh, where's the red grouper at? We got the red grouper. Hell yes. That's a start. I still can't believe I get rocked like this. Right? So we just doubled up on red groupers, me and Brittany. So we're gonna give it one more run at those and see what we can do. <laughs> oh wait, That's look at that, Mark. Insane. <gasps> wow. Bent it up a little bit, trying to get him out of there. That's on 20 pound test too. That's 20 pound mono. Look at that fish. Stud. Stud fish. <laughs> Just studs. What a day, Martin. What a day. Amazing. Oh, look, he has a crab hey. in him. Look, look, put the Inverted. crab in his what mouth. Oh, wow. You got a little crab in there. A little pass crab. Baby <laughs> pass crab looks like. Sam? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That is so cool. Look, guys, you'll see it again and again from us. We'll talk about it more, but inverted charters, man. He's on the fish. He's on the red snapper. He's got a great little crew down here and uh, great location. And I mean, this is about as good as I've ever seen fishing-wise. So if you want to bottom fish, West Coast of Florida is a place to come, Gulf of Mexico. And Martin's your guide, inverted charters, for sure. The links and everything will be all in the description below. And there'll also be links to the webpage. We're going to have him all set up on our website. I don't even put on a hook. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. There we go. <laughs> you get tired very quickly. <laughs> Will not lie. <laughs> there you go. Oh Double up. Oh my god. Woo! Well, so much for me grabbing a bait. Have the time to. No, it's going right back in the live well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> red. We got I mean, quite the uh, crew snapper. here, guys. Oh, what the f is this? A trigger fish? Trigger. Trigger. Oh, Out of season. Out of season. Get him in the boat. And look, we got 15 seconds and he's got to be out the boat. Hell yeah. Brit Brittany's rules. Wait, what? Ready to be Popeye by the end of this one. I know. <laughs> Look, their trigger. Put this guy down. <laughs> but if you press the other one, nothing happens, right? Nothing happens. Yeah, if you push that one, nothing happens. Can't, can't move it. Cannot move it. But if you push the back one, trigger his down. trigger goes down. <laughs> yeah, cool, cool fish. Beautiful. Really good fish. eating fish, but they're out of season right now. So we're going to go ahead and get some pictures of them and release them. No, y'all, it too much. so much different than a 50 60. Yeah. Your color. It's not so white. Yeah, it's another one. I think you're American. You there yet? Yeah. Let's 
Gerper, right, Gerper? Gerper. Hell yeah. Gerper. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Come on with it. Yes, Come yeah. on with it. How many of them do you want? Two per person. Come on, Martin. Double me up today, buddy. I'm double living it today. Come on, Martin. Get that on the pan. We eating good. Oh, you want to know what I'm catching them on now, huh? Yeah. Oh. That's just like, what are you catching these things? Got another trick. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. Another good one, man. I'm telling you, inverted charters. Ask Brittany, she'll tell you. Huh. Inverted charters. I mean, that's all I'm like maxed about. out. That's all you've been talking about. That's all you've been talking about, how good it is. How good the fish has been. He's definitely got the numbers. He's got the numbers. He has got us on. That corner. Huh? Keep coming up. Got to get him up. Got to get him up them rocks. I can't even reel it. That's all right. Just get him up. Don't worry about reeling. Lift up the tip. Get him up. Get him rocking. Now reel down. Reel down. Reel down. All the way down. You reel, reel, reel. That's slow. Right. Yeah. You got to get the tip up. You got to get them tips up. You got to get above. There you go. You got to fish him like that. There you go. Get him, go get him, get him, get him, get him. Get on him. Get on him. That's a big fucking fish. Pooping on play, boy. Is it coming up? Yeah. Hell yeah. Martin's on that struggle bus now. <laughs> I know. What do we call that? The struggle bus. The struggle. Stance. The struggle stance. Look at this stance. <laughs> Have you ever seen a guy kite a fish like this? Martin, you're the first I've seen that. It worked though. Hey, I'm not, yeah. not down at one bit. <laughs> Shit worked. He's like, I'll get this thing turned. Definitely a grouper. Definitely a grouper on the back. What we got here? Grouper. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little red. Woo! Red grouper. Is he clear enough where she can get on the side? You see, once you see color, let me know. I'll hand it over. A little guy there, a little grouper. Look at the eyeball coming out of that sucker. <laughs> <Hey, a little. laughs> nice. <laughs> I won't be able to see color back there. I got color. Yeah, you got color. I'm give it to yeah, it. let's put them on the side. Yeah, let's put them on the side. Crank. Okay. Come walk, turn it to the side if you can. To the side. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> there he Big is. Red. Big red. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's about to come off. Oh, that lift, Martin. Oh, he's coming off. He's barely hooked. I mean, barely hooked. Martin, I'm getting his ass over. <laughs> Yeah, what's my butt? <laughs> nice one, nice one. Nice group of girl, nice. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, can I send him back home? Yeah, she can send that one back home. The other one goes to the box. Can we take a quick pick? Yep. I'll let her do it on the phone. dock and now you can see we caught a few snapper <laughs> and I mean look at the size of them look at the size they're half as tall as them caught a few <laughs> time to go clean them up and uh, eat some good food and some cold drinks do you mind like <laughs> I would have worn like a cute swimsuit I would have rolled out of bed you didn't know you come with the pros, did you? So we fished with Captain Martin of Inverted Charters and I'm telling you what, man, from the start of the day to the finish, I couldn't be more impressed. I really couldn't. Um, when we got there this morning, Gear was ready to go, rods were rigged, lined up, beautiful, I mean, all the braid matches, the stuff you look for in a charter guide is what I saw this morning. And uh, that's always a good start to the day, you know? We, we see all that, and you're like, all right, we're ready to go, everything's rigged, 
and uh, we got bait, bait and loaded up and went out to the grounds. It was a smooth rod and his boat, he's got a great rod and boat. Uh, and once we got out there, I mean, as soon as we dropped in, we were on fish. So this guy's got numbers, man. And, and I, I, like I said, I couldn't be more impressed with the way he handled it. He kept up with everybody, all three of us baiting our hooks, everything you can ask for out of a charter guide. So if you're in the St. Pete area on the west coast of Florida, and I highly recommend that you come fish the west coast of Florida for bottom fishing. It is some of the best bottom fishing you will ever fish in this country. It is loaded with rock. It's got tons of reefs. I mean, it is known for this. Grouper, redfish, uh, red snapper. It's just known for it. It's got great fishing. And if you get an opportunity to come on the West Coast or set up a trip to fish in St. Pete, make sure you give Captain Martin a call with Inverted Charters. You can find him on social. He's got a big social um, you know, channel. And I mean, I, I just can't say enough. I, I, it's one of those days, snapper fishing, it's got to be one of the top two, three days I've ever had in my career lifetime. Can't say enough. Thank you, Captain Martin. Put us on the fish, showed us a good time, and uh, could have delivered more, and just a great experience. We all had fun, you just can't say enough. So give Captain Martin a call, and uh, hopefully I see y'all out there with him next time we're down there. So I wanna go over what we use today to bottom fish and to flatline the snapper, grouper, trigger fish, and all that good stuff we caught. So first thing, so I'm gonna go over the conventional bottom rig we used, okay? We used the Speedmaster by Shimano. Really good reel, really good price point. With 60 pound uh, suffix braids he uses, but 60 pound white braid, okay? It's on a six foot six, let's see what the way the rod is. It's a 20 to 30 pound weight rod. Perfect setup for catching snapper and stuff. 16s are perfect. And these Speedmasters are a great price point, good rod, I mean, good reel for this. Um, the way we rigged it, okay, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple rig. So from the braid, we're gonna tie a 60 pound piece of fluorocarbon with a double uni knot, right? About a four to six foot piece of fluorocarbon, and then we call a knocker rig, okay? That is a knocker rig, okay? We used an eight ounce, you're gonna have to change it up, to 10, you know, based off of your currents and your depth, okay? So the deeper it is, the more weight you're gonna need, more current you need, you know, so you can run anywhere. We were running six to eight, but you know, sometimes you can go as low as three to four, uh, and sometimes you have to go as high as, you know, 10 to 12. I mean, depending on where you're fishing for these fish and how much current line you have. Then the hook is just a circle hook, octopus style, seven ot hook, okay? Uh, I do not know what brand he uses. Big fan of Gama Gods, who's Trocar, stuff like that. Um, but that's the setup for the bottom rig. It's called a knocker rig, easy setup. Uh, drop it down to the bottom. And depending on where you fish around, your fish finder, whether down to the bottom or a little off, crank up a couple cranks and you're ready to go. Or like I said, a lot of our fish were pinned down the bottom, just kept it down the bottom, a foot off the bottom, and we caught our bigger fish. We had a lot of fish up top, but those were the smaller ones you saw us call actually. When we were dropping down, we get hit on the way down. So we end up trying to almost free spool as quick as we could to get it down to the bottom to get it going. Now, bait wise, we used frozen sardines um, on the bottom. We just hooked them right up underneath it through the eyeballs and sent them down. We also used live pilchards too. Worked really good, kept them on the line. When it came to catching the grouper, those were caught on live pinfish, okay? We had a dozen or so live pinfish. That's when you saw those grouper start biting, was on those live pinfish. Literally, the minute it hit down there, we got lit up. So it was a lot of fun, okay? Anytime, Anytime I'm bottom fishing, or most charter guides are bottom fishing like today, you're going to always have what they call a flat line out, okay? One or two of them. And that is a line that's literally just double uni knot, 60 pound, 40 pound fluorocarbon to a, I think he ran a, uh, this is a two, two odd um, kale hook is what he had, but um, circle hook, whatever you're running. That is just gonna be put a live bait on it and chunk it out the back, chunk it out the side. I try and throw one out each side or one out the front, run out the back, depending on how we're all set up, okay? Those are gonna be your surface baits. And we had some mahi roll up, but actually we had a remora on the flat line, the one flat line we had out when the mahi came by me when I was catching the grouper. You'll catch wahoo like that. You'll catch mahi like that. You'll catch just about everything that, that is up on the top of the surface, cobias. I mean, that's how we catch a lot of our cobias 
uh, in the lower west coast, you know, uh, I mean upper west coast. So, and actually today, which was really, really odd, we caught <laughs> snapper. I mean, keeper snapper up on a flat line. So these fish, we were in 150, 200 feet of water and these fish were coming up to the surface to come eat these baits. Pretty incredible. I've never seen that before. Um, sure it happens, but I just haven't seen it. What this is a setup is, this is a seven foot, uh, 20 to 60 pound uh, weight rod. And he's got it on one of my favorite reels around. The newer model of them, the Saragossa. Let me see what size this. Saragossa 1400 XG. Saragossas are just like the Speedmaster. They are the go-to reel when it comes to middle end, last, great reels. Huge fan of Saragossas, huge fan of Stratics. That's what I run on the inshore side. I've fished a lot of different reels and, and these have just held up best for me so far of what I've fished. Um, not saying there's not better stuff out there, not saying there's not equal stuff, just of what I've fished and the brands and models that I've fished, I have been very impressed with the Shimano lineup of middle grade products. Okay, that's how we caught everything. Hope that helps you catch more fish. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of the, the, the help. Uh, thumbs up, really help us. You know, anything you do, giving us comments of what else you wanna know about these species, stuff like that, all helps us for putting together our content calendars for the future of what we're gonna do. So you're the people watching. The more we can give you what you wanna watch, we, we love to do it. I mean, we're putting together calendars all the time and we'd love some ideas on uh, different videos to make for y'all.